Hey guys, this is very different from my other videos that I've put out, but um, I don't know, I want to check out this game, I saw the demo for it, I decided to give it a shot, so I downloaded the demo, and I'm very surprised by the graphics of this game, it's so amazing. Like, I don't know, it's really a well-made game. Even like, the menu screen and everything is just amazing. Like everything I just, well I just got the, this game, I just bought it, I, I, I actually bought it. For me it was 30 bucks, cause I I'm got here. it when it was um, on sale, I got it on sale actually. And I it came with a seasonal pass and everything. So I decided just to to buy it and it's really it's really good it's really good overall. I enjoy this game so far. It's well made. Just imagine if we were I might just keep playing the story because I haven't actually played it very well. I only played like up to the second part or something like that but um we're gonna go ahead and just see what this is uh, game is made of that's you and me Tom. so i just upgraded everything my new character is looking pretty nice now it didn't take that long uh yeah looks pretty nice i'm digging this game Holy shit! 360! Where'd he go? Treasures like this one. What is it? That's for another day. In the meantime, what say we get down to business? Come on back up to the church tower. I'm putting a kettle on now. Oh, that's what that was for. Right. This kind of feels like a black ops. I think that's the stash. What the heck? Let's clear the area for transmit. What the heck? Get out of there! Oh oh oi. oh! Get those headshots in there. Bam! Level 10. Alright, let's check our inventory. Woo! Looking mighty fine, my dude. Mine! Mine! We got the CPU, but we stirred up the entire hive colony. It's a long walk to the surface. <laughs> They're not going to make it out of there, Commander. God, we can make it to the center of the Arcology. We should be able to send someone to pick you up from there. Holiday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on it. This road leads to the center of the Arcology. We'll need a way out once we get there. I'm strapping in and about to take off. I'll be there ASAP. Amanda. Sir? Fly fast. Fly safe. Yes, sir. Come on! Go! Oh! You!
Broom kill! <laughs> I don't know why they bother. Let's get that CPU back to control and decrypt these transmissions. Things may finally be looking up for us. Hey guys, what is up? Uh, so I just finished leveling up my character. I finally got to a really good point in my game where I finally got a couple exotics, a couple legendaries, and my character is m maxed out for level 30. Well, it's, it will be maxed out, but um, yeah, I'm doing this voiceover because it's the 4th of July, and well, it's nearing the 4th of July, and there's just been a lot of fireworks that uh that's been going off like random times you can hear around um my like, normal video so i decided to cut that out i decided not to record at all so for the majority of this video it will be so, just my voice edited in Why did you so if i'm sorry about that but um i got to a really good point in this game where um, I got my legendaries and some exotics from just doing the campaign, doing a couple of side missions, uh, doing crucibles, you get a couple of um, good stuff like that. You can also get cool engrams. I only had one exotic engram so far, and it, it got me the, the gauntlets, but um... This game has been very well consisted of uh, being adventurous, being just, it's, it's an all around good game. Uh, this game is just amazing so far. I've played a lot through it. I finished the campaign and everything. And um, I'll be showing you that in, in a minute or so. But um, it took a while. It took me like, uh, full week maybe. Uh, I don't know how many hours, uh, but it it didn't seem that long. Unless you were continuously doing side missions or whatever. But uh, yeah. Right now I'm just showing you uh, what I had to go through. I'm just showing you little bits and pieces of uh, the of gameplay so far. How it is. If you guys choose to buy it or not, that's really up to you. Uh, the demo was out. The demo was out. If you guys downloaded it and tried it out and if you guys loved it or not, that you kind of decided from there. But, um, I picked it out because it reminded me a lot of, like, Sword Art Online type of, type of feel. So, that's why I got it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you kind of understand the, the game Destiny. Because it's, you're playing online, and you're also doing solo at the same time. So, there's going to be a ton of people that are doing or will be in some area in the missions with you and sometimes it won't be but it reminds me of a lot of uh sort of online just not the vr thing Sons, razor of a thousand worlds, slayer of gods and conqueror of the light, I 
I hear it's gonna get very intense during September because the new DLCs are gonna come out. They did update it. I I came in when the update was was done when um they added a third subclass. And the subclasses are either like there's one. Well, I'm using the Warlock. But there's one from Fire, Thunder, and like a Void thing. It, it, depending on what subclass you choose is depending on which abilities you will receive. So I'm sticking with Thunder. There's a little fire and um, like dark magic or void. Or... Again, I'm sorry if I butcher any of these things because I just started Destiny 2. And uh, also, uh, you guys one don't want to do if you do end up getting a legendary and you and you see the mobility and recovery even the resilience you see like by the bars depending on if they're good or bad or if you like it or if they fit your character if you like the appearance on it you have to uh, also check check the power level and everything because if you're going to go PvE you have to have your light level up but if you're playing crucible it, I don't think it really matters that much cuz every everything is downgraded in the crucible but um yeah you guys can discard your legendaries for legendary shards and I just found out that there's this dude that comes in every Friday, I believe, and leaves every Tuesday. And you can buy exotics from the guy. You can buy, like, exotics. I just found this out from my friend. I'm sorry if I'm very quiet during the cutscenes. I just wanna didn't finish what I was gonna say, but um there's a guy that comes in every Friday, leaves Tuesdays, and you can buy exotics from him. Um you may have seen him around, you may have crossed paths with him during your um campaign missions. But he's the guy with like tentacles. I don't know his name exactly, but you can find him and you can buy exotics. I think it's like 23 -ish for uh, oh, an armor piece and 29 for a weapon. So, depending on whatever you want to choose, depending on if your character will look good on it, you can definitely go for it. But you have to give up legendary shards for it, so which means you have to discard legendaries you might not want, you think it's weak. Just um, be careful, because you can upgrade your legendaries by infusion, which also you will use a, sh a shard or so. But um, yeah, I'm just 
giving you my opinion and giving you some the light lives in some things that you places. will probably learn as in you play all things you can block it even try to trap it but the light will find its way but yeah thank you guys for checking out my video um please do like and subscribe and i'll be back with another video thursday possibly friday i'm not sure yet but um you can look forward to a video on thursday thank you